Hello everyone. I want to introduce myself. Myself Siddhant. I'm Beam Manager for Tata Projects. Currently working as a Tata Projects Beam team. Now uh, I want. I would like to take this opportunity to, to introduce here the precast concrete construction. How we can reach the target in a short time. Uh, I'm working in a beam industry from past ten years. I'm experienced in various types of softwares like Tecla, pre, uh, Tecla precast concrete, Reba, steel, Revit architecture, structure, MEP. I'm a Revit certified professional or today certified instructor. Uh, I'm delivering the beam training as well as I'm handling a beam team. I can develop a beam team with the training. So shall I start with my project, uh, my presentation? Okay. So the presentation topic starts with the precast concrete construction. What about the precast concrete construction? So when you say precast concrete construction, it means precast. It is casted in a factory and then it is taken into the plant, uh, taken into the site. So how the precast and is it a new technique? Is it an old technique? What is the history about precast? Is it a reliable? So you can say the history of the precast. Precast concrete is in ancient Rome. So ancient Rome builders were known for their massive innovative architecture. They utilize concrete to build networks of adequate uh, aqueducts, culverts and tunnels. They were the first to pour the concrete into the molds. So as you know, the precast itself, it's starting with the mold preparation, uh, cage preparation, the reinforcement, and then you get the final product after the pouring of your concrete. So they pour the concrete into the molds, great wide variety of buildings and technologies. Many ancient Rome concrete structures are still standing today, including the famous Panton. So you can see uh, in the uh, online also on the webs, you are getting the precast structure, which is built in long ago in the Rome history. So in modern age, 1905, we can see the first precast concrete panel building were created in Liverpool, England. The man who invented the panel, engineer John Alexander Bordy, also came up with the soccer goal net precast concrete panels expanded across the globe and become the staple of the modern construction. But what happened now? Now the precast industry is very much expanded. You can see the small articles also from the precast. You can see the large articles from the precast. Precast is used for everywhere in the buildings, in the bridges, in the roads, everywhere. So you can see that today the precast concrete industry can be divided into two sub, sub industries represented by the National Precast Concrete Association, NPCA. The precast concrete pro product batches focus on the utility, underground and utility, underground and non pistress product. The other branches is precast concrete structure. It deals with pre-stress concrete elements used in above ground structure. So we are having the underground utilities as well as above ground structure, such as building, parking structures, bridges, and it is represented by the precast or pre-stress concrete institute. The PCI manuals we refer, the BC, the PCI manuals is the guide or just like a, uh, our course for uh, following the precast concrete uh, construction. Since the interpretation and thoughts history, concrete has formed the backbone of the world architecture. It's important today. It has ever been based on the increase in demand in recent years. Why, why precast is expanding? Now we can see increasing use of precast buildings in bridges, tunnels, metros, mass housings. Also with utilities like culverts, curbstones, boundary walls, hume pipes. So you can see that. So there are various types of products you are having for the precast concrete elements. So elements in the sense, the precast concrete part, you can see that the precast concrete panels, precast concrete footings, precast concrete columns, the precast concrete columns, you can see the column, which is separately cast. Then the purpose of column is resting the beam. So beam is separately resting on the column with the help of corbel. There are different, different types of corbels. So you can see the variety of the connections as per the requirement of the structure. So it, below you can see uh, in the column, you can see there is no corbel. This is this beam is resting directly on the column itself. 
here you can see the corbel here you can see the corbel so there is variety of the precast elements depending on the requirement of the structure now you can see the precast element is a very element is having a very very important part that known as a lifting hooks or lifting arrangements the precast structure is having a lifting arrangement which can handle the precast concrete element from production to erection or we can say installation so that lifting arrangement should be is such as it should be balanced to maintain the center of gravity so that the element should not tilt it should not break during the handling of the elements or the product okay so you can see the six major parts of any building can be seen in this screen so we can see the column foundation first then column then beam then wall then slabs and then staircase but it is not as such as normal you can see different types of beams different types of columns different types of slabs different types of staircase so the types the connections wall to wall connection beam to column connection column to uh, wall connection column to foundation connection staircase to wall connection that all should be taken into consideration well before we issue the drawings for the construction okay so it is very important to be done it before we produce the element now the sense of before i will show you why it is very 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 important okay now we can see the precast concrete elements in the bridges and metros so we are having girders bridge segmental decks so deck segments we are having different different segment decks now that segment decks are pre stressed where we are having the post tensioning after that deck is completed uh, completely casted erected on the side then we are having the post tensioning for the decks precast concrete utilities you are having different types of utilities like manholes chambers box culvert so any element which is casted before it is placed on its desired location is known as the precast concrete so how precast concrete construction takes place it is very 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 important now if you see any element so that any element first we prepare the shop drawing for that element we should have the arrangement of the molds so that molds can be of any shape we can create the molds dependent on our requirement that molds can be of metal that molds can be of wood that molds can be of any uh, uh what we can say material so that molds is to be prepared then reinforcement cage is laid on that molds then concrete is poured to form the precast concrete element that element is then uh, stocked in the stockyard it is having a unique identification number that element when it is stocked in a stockyard it will cured for its installation strength when it gains its strength it is transported to the site and then it is installed on the site so you can see there are different types of elements now moving forward most important points to consider during the precast construction so we should keep a track of identical or similar element just now we were discussing about the molds so why it is very important to see the identical or similarity of elements because the process you can see at the bottom the model is created in the beam the rebar is created in the beam the drawing is generated in the beam but the mold is created on the side so we can reuse that mold as possible as many times so reusable mold possibilities to be taken into consideration where we are uh, constructing the precast concrete elements okay 
so the connection details if we are having connection which is coming out of the mold then mold needs the modification the connection details should be properly populated on the drawing the drawing should have the accurate dimensions the dimensions should not differ from the actual site condition what we are going to have on site and what we are having on the precast drawing that's why i told you in previous uh, slides it is very 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 important e even if you are having a 300 or say 100 mm change in the dimensions you cannot place that element directly on the site 10 mm 20 mm maximum tolerance is given on the site for different different elements if you are talking about the holocaust lab it is having the 3 mm tolerance only so if it is beyond the tolerance you need the plant correction or the site correction for that element which will cost you again so accurate dimensions correct views on the drawing sheets because there may be different types of views plan view section view 3d view detail view and while creating that views we might have some errors so we don't want that errors to be happened on the site so we can use the beam for that so it will generate the correct views on the drawing sheet why because the production guys or the production team is not having any idea where their element goes and placed they don't know about the connection with the other elements they don't know about the other elements bearing for their own elements so they solely dependent on the shop drawing so shop drawing should be very accurate if the shop drawing is not correct we are having we are landing up with the errors so shop drawing ga drawing should be accurate which can give you the precast construction should be like which can give you the ease in production transportation and installation so why production because we should have a permissible limit length width height weight if we take the example of the crane so the crane is going to be worked for four times here while taking the element from the mold to the stockyard that is the one thing at stockyard second time then from stockyard to trailer or the truck truck it is a third time then after truck to the site it is a fourth time and if you are st stocking that in the stockyard of site then five times that element is going to be handled so the handling of the element for five times the production the transportation and installation it should be easier that are the points considered during the precast concrete construction okay now in the next stage we can see beam for precast construction so earlier we were not talking about any beam we are talking about the beam uh, we are talking about the precast construction but what happened for many century designer have relied on the two dimensional physical representation of the buildings to translate the ideas in their heads into actionable plans when the advent of building computing altered now how nearly every professional on earth does it work building information model more commonly known as beam allowed designer to bring those plan into three dimensions earlier what happened we have to deal with the now also many companies work on the 2d dimension itself but three dimensions also comes into the picture that we can tell as a building information model for the first time beam software however it is not only for creating 3d models so we can create a 3d models from the 2d drawing software also but more more on that we can create the drawings we can create the store information we can share the data which is useful for designing 
प्रोडक्शन मैन्युफैक्चरिंग क्वालिटी कंट्रोल स्टोरेज शिपमेंट इवन ट्रैकिंग इश्यूज इन द फील्ड फॉर प्रीकास्ट बीम हेल्प ड्यूरिंग थ्री डी मॉडल टूगेदर इन सॉफ्टवेयर पैकेजेस फ्रॉम डिफरेंट सोर्सेस विदाउट द नीड ऑफ टू गो टू द टू डी ड्रॉइंग टू मैच थिंग्स अप ऑल्सो मेक इट इजी टू एक्सचेंज इंफॉर्मेशन विथ अदर ट्रेड्स नाउ the 3d model is used to generate the 2d drawings the drawings are generated from the 3d model itself i'm going to show you the examples for that exchange information with other trades means any building if we consider now it is having the mechanical electrical plumbing fire fighting other trades we are talking about the precast construction but still at that time we can use this building for the other trades so that they can also work on that precast building part okay so you can see in the next slide beam for precast construction you are having your model rebar drawing bbs and actual precast element okay so this is the process i am showing here so i'm i'm uh, demonstrating different different softwares so the software you can see the first is different the second one is different in the second image you can see this is from the trimble tecla this is from dot dex revit so here you can see the concrete element with the reinforcement which is having the column corbels on the all three sides and i also introduce the rebar to that elements connections so that bottom connection with the foundation you are we are providing the grout tubes you can see the grout tubes here also we are providing the grout tubes from same element we are creating the drawings bbs we are also analyzing and we can see the connection feasibility how the beams are going to rest on the columns or corbel which we are providing okay so this is very important we are seeing all the details like it is not like we are doing the 3d and then we are using the other software for the uh, 2d documentation we are using the same model same 3d for 3d visualization for 2d documentation for reports schedules planning construction management and also tracking the uh, bills everything we can also link this to sap erp beam for precast construction you can see how in depth you can see the connection with the column beam hollow course opening wall opening foundation to column connection hollow course resting on the l beam connections lifting hook locations which should which is very important you can see the clip planes you can see the 3d reinforcement presentation this can be also transferred to the site in the form of ifc and that same ifc can be transferred to other disciplines or other trades this was the last slide uh, was talking about the other trades so you can see this can be transferred to other trades the mechanical electrical plumbing they can utilize this same model which we have done from the beam model so that beam model can be worked on the other discipline they can take the reference they can check the clashes the clashes can be again refer back to the beam model and then the model can be modified as per the clashes so including the asmepf architecture structure mechanical electrical plumbing all the things we can do from the beam model and we can use the different different softwares interoperability the sharing of model from one software to other software is possible we can see the details in very minute conditions we can draw or get the 2d drawings from the precast models 
but it is okay we are getting the same thing from the 2d also what is additional here only 3d modeling no not that much at all we are getting all the drawing quantities reports schedules interoperability interdisciplinary check we can share this with our site team in the form of ifc models on the tabs they can open on their mobiles they can open they can use it for the real time present 3d presentation walk through you can also send it to the hololens for vr purpose now what other the best part about the trimble tecla beam is for the precast i i worked on that so you can see the numbering part okay so the concrete columns you are seeing on your screen it is having a 2 mm difference only both the columns are similar both the columns are having same reinforcement both the columns are having the same grout tube both the columns are having the same height only the column on the right hand side is pc12 precast column 12 which is of size 750 by 750 the left hand side column pc13 is of 752 by 752 so the difference between those two columns is only 2 mm still the precast element is taking the different number so this is the beauty you can get numbering automatically it is identifying the identical elements and you don't have to work on all drawings at all times okay so you can create one drawing for one element that will be treated as a master drawing and you can clone the other shop drawings with that element that is known as the clone drawing so shop drawing generation is also very easy after adopting the precast uh, beam okay so you can use multiple softwares for the precast beam i'm not suggesting like any one software but uh, the so software you can see on your screen is the tecla so which is giving you the automatic numbering okay so that is okay all the things is okay but every time it is adding a extra cost right we are changing from the 2d drawing to the 3d modeling then beam team we need to improve then the software then the cost for the beam is going to be added but at the same time you can see the precast is uh uh having the benefits in the cip so instead of cip we are having more benefits in the precast so if the precast is having this much benefit 20% less concrete 30% less steel 50% less manpower 50% less waste in this you can also reduce your cost up to 50% from the 2d drawing to the 3d drawing 3d modeling and drawing okay there might be the different changes different perspective it might be the first project you will need more time than the 2d autocad second project you will also need the more time for than the 2d autocad but for sure after third project you will get the less for, uh, less time for the 3d beam modeling in the precast concrete structures okay so the precast concrete is itself a different sector in that precast concrete it is not only concrete we are having a reinforcement we are having the production schedule we are having the ga drawings we are having the shop drawings we are having the production numbering separate numbering systems that should be unique numbers given to all elements and it all can be easy with the building information model so all together we can use beam for the precast elements so that's all from my presentation team thank you any questions you can ask i will be very happy to answer your questions